obviously a big highlight for you partnering up with Casey, it, it seems. Casey Musgrave's an amazing artist. She's unbelievable. I mean, it takes my breath away, honestly, when I hear she's such a, a crazy next level type of artist and icon. How did how did you guys team up with her? What was that like? Um, she just DM'd us on Instagram and was like, I love this Kush candle. I burn it all the time on my tour bus. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And I like <laughs> I seen her open for Willie Nelson one New Year's Eve because I'm from Austin, Texas originally. Okay. And Willie always does like a New Year's Eve show. And and I was like, oh, that's so great seeing you there. And then I'd seen her and Marfa at the Trans Pecos uh, Music and Love Festival. And I was like, oh, I saw you twice. It was, you know, it was so great. I was like, saw by the studio if ever you're in LA. Love to show you what we're doing. She was like, yeah, let's, we, it'd be so cool to do a candle together. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, you know, she loves, she's a cannabis fan. And we had a Kush candle. And I was like, we should do like cowgirl Kush. And then she was like, what about golden hour? Like a candle. And I was like, oh my God, that's such a name. And then, then she was like, oh, slow burn. And we we're like, oh my God, that's like the perfect <laughs> name for yeah. a candle. And so we like DM for a while. And then, you know, she won like, you know, album of the year and kind of just like had this like crazy like trajectory. So it kind of got, it kind of got hard to like figure out when to do it. But then when they were kind of like coming down off the tour cycle, when she was like kind of in her last maybe like month or six weeks of tour cycle, I was like, let's get together. Let's do this. So I went to New York and uh, they invited me to one of her sold out shows at Radio City Music Hall, which was so awesome because like just seeing like that cross section of fans that's like, you know, really brings people together. Like, you know, it's like mm. all different walks of life, you know what I mean? Sure, and like, sure. there's something just so like true about, you know, her energy and like her songs that like resonates with like, you know, a very like wide variety of people. And also seeing like all these like younger queer kids just like loving her and like finding so much like inspiration from her music and like feeling seen by it. I was like, wow, this is actually like much more like impactful than I even like realized. Cause I was just kind of coming from it from like, do I like her music? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, like, and when we talk about gender fullness, it's really about just like fighting sexist ideas. And Casey is a, she writes her own songs and from her own point of view, that is not crazy conservative in a hyper male dominated, somewhat conservative country music industry. You know, it's, it's like an old right. boys club and she has just paved her own way in this like hyper masculine industry. And that's like straight up genderfulness for us, you know? And I see such a cross section of values between her brand and our brand. And so we went and visited all the fragrance houses and like worked through some fragrances and selected like two. And then we like kept developing those. And, you know, then we limited it down to one. I designed some packaging. She loved it. Then, you know, we collaborated on photo shoots and a launch event, but like, you know, we were like making shared Pinterest boards, you know, it was like, I wasn't going through a manager for every step of approval. Like we were texting and DMing and just like through honest. the whole thing, you know? And yeah. it's like, it wasn't like contrived or set up by an agent to like have X outcome. We just were like, this is going to be cool. And it sold out <laughs> in like 30 minutes. And then like we put it on pre-sale and there was like a 20,000 person wait list. And, you know, it was just totally awesome. It was like, you know, the first time that we kind of had, uh, we'd had hit products, but they were like, no pun intended, more like slow burn hit products, you know? <laughs> sure. uh, and, uh, but like, it was kind of fun to do something that like, was like immediately like had this like sell out right. kind of thing, you know, this like hype thing. So that was super cool to do. And it's been a great partnership. And I really think that she's like a really awesome human being.